What's up everybody? It's the Traverse City John Boater here and welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, there's still about four to five months left until the ice melts and I can get back out on the water. So until then, I'm going to share with you some of the new equipment I've gotten for the 2020 fishing season. Gander Mountain Outdoor Camping World went out of business again and they eventually had everything 80% off before they finally closed the doors. Also, Tackle Warehouse had a 20% off Black Friday sale, and I was able to score uh, the more exotic lures that you don't usually see at your local tackle shops. Uh, these will be the Topwater Hard Baits, and all these will be linked in the uh, description, so you don't have to worry about writing anything down or anything like that. And we'll go ahead and start out with the Walking Baits, and then we'll go from there. First up for Walking Baits, this is the Heaton Super Spook. This is the silver bone color that you're looking at, and it's a five inch bait that weighs about one ounce. It's got a nice set of big red eyes on it, three big treble hooks that should make for a good hookup ratio. And then it's got a nice little one knocker in there to make some noise as well. Here we have the Heaton Super Spook Junior. This one is the redhead color, and it comes in at three and a half inches and weighs a half ounce. This one only has two treble hooks, not the three, but it also still has the one knocker in there as well. So that's the Redhead Super Spook Junior from Heaton. Last up for the walking baits is the JT-115 made by Evergreen. This is the bone color that you're looking at. It's got three nice little treble hooks on there, so it should make for a good hookup ratio. And there is no knocker in this one. This is a silent walking bait. But this one has a very glittery uh, bottom, a bunch of little sparkles in there. Hopefully that'll help call up the fish when they see that on top of the water. But this one is the Evergreen JT-115. All right, those were all of the walking baits that I bought for 2020. Um, everything else I have left is either a prop style type bait or just a noise making uh, type bait. So next up we have the famous Whopper Plopper. My favorite size is the 110, and my two favorite colors are the Bone and the Loon. I've had a lot of success with these two lures, and my older ones were just completely rusted out. The tail had cracked on one, so I decided to get two new fresh ones. These are real great lures. Most likely everybody knows what these are. If you don't, I highly suggest getting one and giving it a shot. Now we'll move on to some of the more exotic baits. These most likely will have to be ordered online, but you might get lucky and find them in your local uh, tackle shop. But we'll start out with the Jackaw Pompadour. This is a floating noisy bait that's three inches long and weighs three fourths of an ounce. This is the black bone color. And this thing puts off a ton of noise in action. You got these two wings that fold out in the front. And it just swims through the water and walks on its own naturally with a steady to slow retrieve. It also has a spinning prop on the back that makes even more commotion. This back uh, hook also moves from left to right. And it's got a little, it's got some rattles in there. So this thing is a really good noisy top water bait. Again, this is the Jackall Pompadour black bone color. Here we just have a smaller version of the Pompadour. It actually comes in a Pompadour Junior size. It's just slightly smaller. This one is two and a half inches and it weighs five eighths of an ounce. You're looking at the bone color right here and it has the same features, uh, the wings, the uh, prop on the back and the rattles. It's just a smaller profile. Here we have the Mega Bass Grand Siglet. This is pretty much just a cicada or a fly like lure. This is more of a finesse topwater. This thing is about one and a half inches and weighs a quarter ounce. The Grand Siglet color on this one is Abura Zemi. And let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. This thing is really lifelike. Um, right out of the box, man, this thing looks like a, it looks like a real bug. The wings are uh, very nice soft plastic, but they still feel durable. This one, has a rattle in it also, probably as you're twitching it to mimic the cicada, but it looks like it comes in backwards. The tie on this is actually on the back, so you'll be reeling it backwards towards you. And it has a strange hook, it's not a treble, 
It's just a double hook that hangs there. So I'm interested to see uh, what the hookup ratio is on this. But this is a great, uh, they call it a bug plug. Not a butt plug, but a bug plug. And uh, I've always wanted some bug lures, but they just don't seem that durable. But this one might be it. This might be the juice right here. Again, this is the Mega Bass Grand Siglet, a Burra Zemi color. And last up, we have the I Wing 135, also made by Mega Bass. This is a 5.3 inch lure, and it weighs 1 and 5 eighths of an ounce. The color I got is the Tanasima Frog. And some of the features it offers is an ultra lightweight dura aluminum wing system. And it also has a tail waddle in the back. And it also has a rudder action balancer system in the middle. Uh, looks like a pendulum with a couple of knockers on it that are going to hit uh, as the lure goes side to side. The rest is in Japanese, so I'm not quite sure what that says. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at it. First thing we'll check out on this one are the wings. They seem to be about two to two and a half times the length of the pompadour. They are a little bit skinnier and they come in all black instead of all silver. On the back, there is a rod that goes through the lure right behind the wings to keep the wings from bending back and causing any damage. Then you got the uh, waddle tail on here. Seems to work pretty good, seems very durable. <clears throat> but the rattle system in this, that pendulum uh, balancing system, sounds really great uh, when you shake this side to side you can feel it just swinging through there um, sounds real great can't wait to throw this lure again this is the i wing 135 from mega bass so these are all the hard baits i plan on throwing in the 2020 season none of them are really brand new or anything i had just never seen a couple or used a couple so I thought I'd share them with you because I have nothing else to do until the ice melts, which is quite a few months away. Uh, so maybe next week I'll show off the frogs and then maybe the swim baits and then the crank baits and then hopefully the ice will be melted. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.